feeling fresh. All right, BFIT Nation. Welcome back to another Motivation Monday, another BFIT Live. I hope you have all had a great weekend. Here's to a great start to our week here with our BFIT Live program. If you are new to the program, welcome. I am joined by my partner, my assistant here, my teammate, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good morning. I'm fantastic. How are you? Yes, ma'am. I'm doing well. Thank you so much for asking. If you're new to the program, welcome to Be Fit Live. This is your chance to set aside a little bit of time to focus on ourselves, to focus on our health and our fitness to get the week started here. So we will go through uh, four exercises for today. So a live workout coming to you, four exercises. Uh, today we, have, we are focusing on a, a, um, a hybrid of cardio and resistance training movements for today. We have, once again, four workouts that we will, four movements that we will go through. Our timing for today is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Once again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Now, I will demonstrate each movement before we get started, so that way there are no surprises. You know exactly what movements uh, we are going to be tackling today. You can look out for any modifications that you need to um, take advantage of. We can scale up or scale down any of these movements, and we will go into some dynamic stretching before we get started and then head into the workout. So once again, welcome to BFIT Live. <laughs> I see Senior Master Sergeant mm -hmm. Barry having a partner over there as well. <laughs> She's ready. <laughs> I love it, I love it. <laughs> Pets are welcome, as we say here on BFIT <laughs> Live. <laughs> so again, the programming for today is a hybrid workout. So we have resistance-based movements and cardio-based movements. If you have any dumbbells available to you, go ahead and grab those now. Go ahead and set, it, set your area up and uh, you know, in preparation for our workouts, grab that water, grab that towel, let's get settled in and let's get ready to work while I uh, go through the four movements for today and we will dem I'll demonstrate those movements as well. So for exercise number one, we have five pulse squats and two jump uh, squats. So five jump, five pulses, five, <laughs> five squat pulses, excuse me, and two squat jumps. Okay, that's gonna be a nice combination movement to get our heart rate elevated and really focus on activating and engaging our lower body. Exercise number two, we have a, dump, a dumbbell bent over row. So grabbing those dumbbells of choice here on your weight, whichever you have available. If you don't, we're gonna make some nice strong fists here. And we have a dumbbell bent over row to activate that mid to upper back and our lats here. We wanna go ahead and strengthen those uh, mid, that mid to upper back and our lats. Exercise number three, we have a dumbbell, not needed, but a dumbbell Reverse lunge, okay, activating that lower body once again, posterior chain with those glutes, hamstrings, and that quad. And while we were down in that low position, I'll go ahead and demo that as well. We have a bicep curl. And exercise number four, targeting our core, targeting our abs with 10 ab cycles and 10 core twists. Now, if we have time, uh, once again, uh, we have 40 seconds of work here. So 10, ab, 10 ab cycles and 10 core twists, then we will go ahead and uh, repeat that 10 ab cycles, 10 core twist, twists. All right. So exercise number one, what is exercise number one? Five squat pulses and two jump squats. Okay. We are standing shoulder width apart here, soft bend at those knees. We are pushing those hips back and down into those, into that low squat. Now, depending on your mobility here and comfort level will depend on how low we get here for that squat pulse. Okay, if our uh, squat is just about 45 degrees, that's perfectly fine, okay? We have five squat pulses. We're going down into that low squat position. We're gonna raise up about two or to three inches into that half squat and then drop back down into that low squat. So five squat pulses pulsing here. Once we get out of that five squat pulses, we have two jump squats. Ideally, we would like to get some air and some space in between your feet and the floor for a little bit of an explosive um, jump squat here. So two jump squats, one, two, absorb that weight, absorb that landing, and then you're back down into those five squat pulses. Okay. If uh, the jump squats are too uh, tough for you, 
let's go ahead and just go down into that squat and a nice tall stance here. Okay, five, uh, two jump squats or just that nice tall stance. So five squat pulses and two squat jumps. That's exercise number one or movement number one rather. Movement number two, we're going into a bent over row. So if we have any dumbbells available to us, let's go ahead and grab those. Targeting again, that mid to upper back and our lat. We wanna take advantage here. Nice soft bend at the knees here, hinging at those hips, having those dumbbells uh, close to your side here. We wanna drop that, those hips back once again, nice flat back. Your head is gonna be in alignment with your spine right there. So nice hinge movement here grabbing those weights or making that fist. We're gonna alternate, left arm, elbow comes up, nice and tucked in close to our torso, right? Elbow up towards the sky here, engaging that lat here and right back down. Alternating left hand, left arm, right arm here. That's gonna be the bent over row, alternating, again, targeting our backs. Exercise number three, we have a reverse lunge with a bicep curl. Sticking with dumbbells here, taking a nice strong stance up top, we're gonna lunge, reverse lunge back, drop down into that reverse lunge. Once we were at that reverse lunge position, we're gonna add in that bicep curl, extend back down, and then raise back to standing position. Once again, we want to drop down into that lunge position, making sure our torso, our chest is up, our head is looking up. That front leg is going to be at that 90 degree bend here, making sure our knee is tracking over our toe. If it's too far forward, let's go ahead and sit those hips back to our comfort level, once again, if, um, if this is a little challenging for us, let's just go ahead and go down into that reverse, maybe eliminate that lunge or don't go as deep as uh, only to your comfort level here, okay? So reverse lunge with that bicep curl, we can eliminate the bicep curl if needed, but it is there to activate that bicep to get a little bit more um, upper body work for this sequence. And that last and final movement, 10 ab cycles and 10 core twists. So no dumbbells needed here. We are gonna get onto the floor here with those 10 ab cycles. We are on the back here. Our shoulder blades are gonna be up off of the floor. Hands are gonna be next to our temples or behind our heads. Opposite elbow comes to opposite knee. We are gonna do alternate here. Left elbow to right knee, right elbow to left knee with those 10 ab cycles. Once we get done with those 10 ab cycles, we're gonna come up into a 45 degree angle here. Heels are going to be on the floor with those core twists, reach left hip, right hip, keeping that core tight, nice and engaged, okay? Core twists, and then we are back into those 10 ab cycles and 10 core twists. So those are the four movements for today. How does that sound team? <laughs> Thank you so much. Once again, BFIT Live, welcome, welcome, settle in here. We are gonna go into some dynamic stretching to get our, our minds and our bodies ready to work here, and then we'll move directly into that workout. So with that, grab some water, let's get ready to stretch it out and then move into our workout here. All right, I see we're ready to work here. So dynamic stretching coming up next. Let's start off with that dynamic quad stretch, okay, to get that quad and those hips a little bit loose get some blood flow moving to our muscles here. So quad stretch here, take that right leg extended back and left hand is going to go up, pushing those hips forward, feeling that stretch in your quad. Good, good, good. A little bit in your shoulders here, you should feel. Go ahead and alternate, left leg back, right hand up. Take your time here. We will be here for about 30 seconds on each movement. Really feel out your body or scan your body, see where you're tight. If you've been stretching, if you've been sitting for a little while, this is a great time to scan that body, see where you might be tight. Good, pushing those hips forward, that arm extending up just a little bit taller. Last one here. All right, team, good work. Here we go, reverse lunge with the reach. We're gonna stand nice and tall to the top of our space here. With that reverse lunge, just like we have in exercise number three, we're gonna reverse lunge back, extend up to top and reach over here to your comfort level here. We're gonna stand back top, alternate left leg back, hands together, 
reaching over. There we go. You, you should feel that stretch in your lats here, in your legs. Alternate left leg, right leg going back to standing position. <clears throat> Focus on that breathing here. Nice deep breaths. Again, this is the time to focus on yourself here. Stretch out muscle groups that you may be tight, getting ready to work here. All right, we're gonna take that lateral lunge here, that fixed feet lateral. Feet are gonna be faced forward here. Nice wide stance here. We are going to lean to the left and lean to the right. Shifting that weight again to that left and right, feeling that stretch in your inner thigh. Chest is up, head is looking straight ahead. Good. Good work team, here we go. <clears throat> A little bit more here, one. And here we go team, back of our space here, back of our workout place, we're gonna add in some of those inchworms. Again, activating that core, getting that core tight and activated hips are going to be working here. We are going to reach down towards our toes, extend out feeling that stretch in our hamstrings here. We are going to walk out to a high plank position. Once we get to that high plank position, we're gonna pause for one second, retract back, touch our toes, roll up to standing position, feel that spine roll up and then roll back down, touch those toes. Extend back out to that high plank position, keeping that core tight. Keeping those hips square to the floor here. Back to standing. Here we go. Number three. Good. With that pause, stand back up. Last and final one here. Stretching out those hamstrings, getting those shoulders involved. High plank position, activating that core. Focus on that breath and standing back up to standing position. Good job here. All right, let's go into some YTWs here to really open up that back, get some blood flow going here. I want us to go ahead and take a nice strong stance here. Hands are together here. We're gonna make that, make that nice big Y with our hands reaching to the left and to the right, feeling those shoulder blades some get, come together back to center. Make that big T really opening up that scapula, that those shoulder blades in the back, back to center here and make that big W. Should feel the shoulder blades coming together here. Back to center, back to that Y here. Good, back to that T, back to center, back to that T. Stretching left and right here. Nice strong stance, back to W. One more here, last Y. Really stretching out. That mid to upper back here, back to T. Feel some blood flow in those shoulders. And then last W here, showing off those biceps we're about to work. All right, team, good job. Now that we're warmed up, grab some water, grab that towel. Let's get ready to work here. I'm going to set my timer and then we will move on to the workout. Once again, exercise number one, five squat pulses and two jump squats. Be Fit Nation, where are you watching from? Let myself, let Sergeant Mary uh, know where we're watching from. Are we indoors today? Are we outdoors today? Are we enjoying this weather that we're having? <laughs> let us know. All right, team. Once again, timing 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four rounds, one minute rest in between each round. All right, five squat pulses and two jump squats coming up in eight seconds here. Going to get started. Up in five, three, two, one. Here we go team, 40 seconds on the clock. We're dropping down into that low squat position. We are pulsing up three, about three inches up, three inches back down. Three, four, five. Once we get done with that five, we're adding in two jump squats. And then we are back in to those five squat pulses. Keeping that chest up, head is looking straight ahead. Good. Really feel 
your quads activating, quads are on fire here, glutes are activating. Last five seconds, take your time with these. First round, we learn it. Second round, we own it. 20 seconds of rest here, 40 seconds is up. Grabbing that dumbbell of choice, we have that bent over row here, alternating bent over row. Let's go ahead team, eight seconds on the clock here. We are up in five, three, two, one. Nice soft bend at those knees, feet shoulder width apart. Hinging at the hips, pushing those hips back, back, back. Alternating left arm up, right arm up. Squeezing those shoulder blades, really tucking in that dumbbell towards your chest here. Elbows tracking towards the ceiling. Nice controlled movement here. Keeping that core tight. Last 13 seconds. Good. Palms should be facing you here on the way up. Up in three, two, one. Last rep and time. 20 seconds of rest here keeping with my dumbbell of choice because we have those reverse lunges with that bicep curl at that bottom position. 10 seconds of rest, grab that breath. Five seconds here, reverse lunge with the bicep curl at that bottom. Here we go, two, one. Here we go, team, reverse lunge, taking that nice wide reverse lunge step, tracking down, bicep curl, and back up to standing position, driving up through that front heel. Good, make sure that chest is up, gaze is looking forward. <sighs> Halfway there, 20 seconds. Nice controlled movement here. Again, if we need to scale back a little bit. Last five, three, two, one, and time. Good work, good work. How did that feel, team? How did that feel? <laughs> All right, 10 seconds, and we are on the floor with those 10 ab cycles and 10 core twists. Here we go, team. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go, activating that core, just like we were riding a bicycle here. <laughs> Elbows to knees. 10 reps here to your speed. Good, once you get done with that, heels on the floor here for that 10 core twist. 18 seconds left. Good, 15, go ahead and alternate back to those ab cycles. Out in five. Try and finish, three, two, one, and time. <laughs> good work team round one is in the books for us here round one complete moving on to round two we have a 45 second rest here one minute but we're down to 45 seconds so catching our breath here tallying off hydrate stay hydrated here drink that water and we are moving on to round two okay now that we've learned the movements now it's time to perfect them okay mm. Beef and Nation, how are we doing? 20 seconds left of resting. Grab that breath. Let's fix our workout space here. We are up in 10, five squat pulses and two jump squats. Five pulses, two squats. Coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Five squat pulses. Again, dropping those hips back. Chest is up. Head is looking straight ahead. Four, five, once you're out of that standing position, drop into those two jump squats, really focus on that explosiveness coming up through your feet. Good. Nice soft landing here, absorb that weight. Good. One, two, 10 seconds left here. Keeping that chest up once again, quads are activating last three, two, one, and time. Uh, 
All right, team, grab that dumbbell here, bent over alternating row. We can scale up, team, let's do it. If not, let's make those fists here. Really work on controlling and contracting that top movement here. Here we go, team, 40 seconds on the clock. Bending over here, keeping that core tight, pushing those hips back. Controlled movements here, bringing that elbow up towards the ceiling here. Dumbbell is gonna be tracking close to your chest. Feel your lats working, engaging. Speaking of engaging, keep that core engaged. Bring that navel in towards your spine. Last 10 seconds. Soft bend at those knees. Feet are shoulder width apart. Last five seconds. Last three, two, one, and time. I know. I know. Reverse lunge with the bicep curl. Again, if we need to eliminate the bicep curl, let's do that. It's perfectly fine. We are up in five seconds here. Reverse lunge coming up in two, one. Here we go, team, 40 seconds on the clock. Reverse lunge, bicep curl, back to standing position, alternate. Left leg back for me. Reverse lunge at that bottom position. Driving up through that heel, keeping that chest up, nice and proud. Head is looking straight ahead. Front knee, tracking over that toe, driving up through that heel. 13 seconds left here. Keeping those elbows tucked in for that bicep curl. Out in five. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job, team, good job. Not an easy one there. Nice combination movement. Really activating that lower body with that upper body bicep curl. 10 ab cycles, 10 core twists coming up in five. Here we go, team. Three, two, one. 10 ab cycles coming up. 40 seconds of the clock. Really work on that rotation. That chest should be opening up towards that knee that comes towards your head here. 10 core twists. All right, team, 15 seconds left. Keep that core tight here. Last eight seconds. Out in three, two, one, and time. One more for good measure. Sergeant Barry, good job. One minute rest. We are halfway done. Good work, good work, team. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Where are we coming from? Any questions, let us know here. Again, welcome to BFIT Live. If you're new, if you were just joining us, we are halfway through our just under 30 minute workout here. We have four exercises that we go through. Again, four rounds, we are down two rounds. So we have two more to go with 20 seconds of rest right now. Still time for you to jump in and join us here. We have five squat pulses and two jump squats coming up in 10 seconds to start off our round three. As we catch our breath here, focus on that breath. We are up in three seconds, team. Get those legs ready to work. Get that body ready to work. Two, one, five squat pulses and two jump squats. Four, five, good. Good, try to get some air in between, some space in between that floor and your feet. Control that pulse. Good, working on a little bit of explosiveness here. Activating those fast twitch muscle fibers. Good, good work, Sergeant Barry. Last seven seconds. Big, last three, two, one. And time, 20 seconds of rest to your team. And we are into that bent over row, alternating left arm, right arm. 10 seconds left here. <clears throat> All right, team, we are up in three seconds here. Two, one, palms facing us, feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at those knees, hinging at the hips, pushing those hips back. 
Left arm up, right arm up. Bringing that navel in towards our spine, keeping that core tight. Which notes hips back. Control this movement here. Halfway there, 20 seconds. Engage those lats, bringing those shoulder blades back towards each other. Your head should be facing down, tucking in that chin in alignment with your spine there. Last five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. <laughs> Good job, team. Good job. Third round. We are working on it. Reverse lunge with the bicep curl coming up in eight seconds. Eight seconds. Good job. Here we go, team. In three, two, one. Standing position here, top of our workout space. Lunging backwards, dropping that knee down. Bicep curl at that lower portion. Back to standing position. Nice, comfortable movement here. Challenge yourself. Think about that breathing as well. Nice deep breaths. 13 seconds here. Out in 10. Good. Control that knee's hovering just above that rear of the floor. Last three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. I know, team. I know. Good work. Last exercise coming up for round three. We are almost there. 10 ab cycles, two core twists. Coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. 10 ab cycles, five on each side. Driving those knees up towards your elbow. After those 10, we are up into that angled core twist. Catching that breath. Control these movements as well. 13 seconds left here. Good job. Six, five. Last three, team. Two, one, and time. <laughs> ah, good work, team. Good work. Round three is complete. Catching our breath here. Make sure to grab that water. Once again, you have 45 seconds of rest here. Catching that breath, drinking that water, getting ready for the last and final round here. Mm -hmm. ah, there we are, team. <clears throat> How are we doing? How are we doing? <laughs> All right, we have 20 seconds of rest here. Really focusing on that breath, getting that breath under control before we start this last and final round. <sighs> there we are. Eight seconds left. We have 10, I'm sorry, we have five squat pulses and two jump squats. Not, I don't mean to add anything more to us here. Here we go, team. 40 seconds on the clock. Five squat pulses and two jump squats to round us out here. There we are. Good, making sure that chest is up. Those hips are falling back into your chair. Knees tracking over your toes here. Jumping up, absorb that weight. Last 13 seconds. Three, four, five. Good, last five seconds. A little bit of conditioning here. Last three, two, one. And time, 20 seconds of rest here, and we are going into our bent over row. Good job, team. Good job. 10 seconds here. It's our last round, Sergeant Barry. All right, best round. <laughs> yes, ma'am. 40 seconds on the clock, going into that dumbbell row for our best round. Here we are, team. 40 seconds on the clock. Feet shoulder width apart. Once again, soft bend at those knees. Do not lock out those knees, pushing those hips back, keeping that core tight, sucking in that navel, down back to your spine. Deep breath in on the way down, deep breath out. As you bring that dumbbell 
towards your chest here, side of your chest, last 10 seconds. Eight seconds left. Keeping that core tight once again. Last three, two, one, and time. <laughs> Good job, team. We won't see that one again today. Well, I know, eight seconds, team. Reverse lunge with the bicep curl coming up in five. Standing at the top of our workout space here. Here we go, team. 45 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Good. Stand tall on that top portion here, on that starting point. 25 seconds of work. Again, driving up through that front heel to standing position. 15 seconds of work. Keep pushing. Out in 10. Chest up, nice and proud. Out in three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, and we are coming up on our final movement for today. Great work today, team. Great work. 10 seconds left here. We are down on deck for those 10 ab cycles and 10 core twists. Coming up in five, three, two, one. Leaning back. Here we go, team. 10 ab cycles. There we go. 10 core twists. There you are. 20 seconds left. Whoo. Feeling this one, team. Fourth round. There we are. Last 10 seconds. Bring us home, team. Bring us home. Keep working. We are out in five. Last three, two, one, and time. <laughs> awesome job. Awesome job. Well done, team. Well done. How did we do? How did we do? Did you stay with us? <laughs> Good job, team. Once again, this was a cardio and resistance based workout for today. We didn't have too many movements, too many plyo movements, too many lateral jumps here, but an overall effective programmed workout to target our cardio system, our cardiovascular system, as well as our muscular endurance with some of our resistance throws and bicep curls. <clears throat> so <laughs> with that, let me check in. Senior Master Sergeant Barry, how are you doing, ma'am? Good, that was a great workout, like full body for sure. So I'm proud of myself because there was times I was like, whew, this is tough. <laughs> but I made it through, so it's all good. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. And that's the goal for us here is it's just in kind of increasing week by week. It's, it's building off of our foundation. Um, like we say, every day is a workout. And a lot of the movements that we incorporate here in our BFIT Live, we can take outside of this live workout, outside of this program structured workout and apply them to our everyday routines, our everyday movements. Um, yes, you know, some program workouts can be a little bit more challenging than others, but once you get into the groove, once you find that rhythm, it's a lot easier to accomplish some of these movements, as well as myself and Sergeant Barry, we're right here every step of the way with you, challenging ourselves just as much as we are challenging you and just as much as you are challenging yourself. So great job today, BFIT Nation. Um, with that, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you had a wonderful time with us. I hope you push yourself. And again, drop a comment, let us know how we are doing, how you are doing, how much you have come throughout these weeks. We are coming up on almost um, one year and there's a few months, one year of our BFIT live program. So it's hard to believe that we've been <laughs> bringing, to, bringing live workouts to you, but we've had so much fun doing so with our exchange BFIT program. And again, this is about a community. This is about establishing uh, a, a team here, okay? And we're, we're, we're together. We are all in this together and um, we are all in it for one fight here. So again, from BFIT Live and our exchange program here, uh, Roy Montes, I'm signing off and Senior Master Sergeant. Have a good week. Yes, ma'am. Y'all have a great week, guys.